So I'm here in Australia at an aerodome and a random subscriber of mine was like, hey, I really want to try that Max Lens mod out on my plane. And I thought that might be really cool. All right, before we get this started, I just want to say welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that. And also that really helps out. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun testing out the Max Lens mod, which has been probably one of the coolest parts of owning the GoPro Hero 9. So this is the de Havilland Canada or DHC chipmunk from the 1950s. Let's see what this thing can do. Now this is the part that I hate. I am not good with the flips and the spins, but let's do this. physically weak after something like that. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not really good with the G-force and the spinning stuff. It actually makes me sick. I've actually done this a few times with a plane before. So you know that I do this for you. Actually, I mean, I do it for me too. It's still fun to play with the footage. This was the whole point of the excursion is to see how this would look with the Max Lens Mod. Not that long ago, I did a video on how to make your adhesive mounts like stronger just by using like a hair dryer. Well, that's not what I did here. <laughs> and up there, normally it would be shaking like this. And with the Max Lens Mod, you could see it really makes it stable. One of the things I think is very impressive with the Max Lens Mod on is the horizon leveling. And you could see when the plane is actually getting hit by wind and it's moving around, it's like the camera stays still, but the plane is the only thing moving. It's pretty, man, that's like magic. When we did the first flip, I didn't know that this was gonna happen, but it actually corrects itself because of that horizon leveling. So you can see it kind of flipping in the video. And then it corrects itself back at the end of the flip. So that's something to keep in mind if you're ever gonna do a video where you do like a jump, maybe you're skiing and you do a jump and do a flip, you don't want horizon leveling on for that. But the horizon leveling was amazing when we did the spins because you see, it's like the GoPro is completely detached from the plane somehow. It's so crazy how it looks like it's not part of the plane when you spin around. It's an amazing effect. Now I wish that I had a couple more of these in these. It'd be awesome to put them like at the back of the plane and other spots of the plane. But guess what? I'm sure we'll do more plane rides in the future. All right, let's wrap this up. That was a really fun time, fun adventure to go on. I'm looking forward to making more videos with the GoPro Hero 9 and Max Lens Mod coming up on my channel. So stay tuned, plus a lot more like amazing cool stuff like you do not want to miss. All right, whew, there we go. I'm feeling better now, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh, make sure you check out my Tech Is Hard podcast channel right there. And uh, I play some music on this one. It's not very popular, but you can enjoy some music if you want. And you can uh, check out this video right here. That's a good video. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right.